Hello everybody, my name is Anpo, and basically I am back home for a tiny bit, but there was some actually more news just came out recently. Also, if you want to hear, you know, for, if you want to hear more like Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl news, you guys can actually always check on this channel because most likely I'll always be there to announce big upcoming updates to the game basically for the first minute before anybody else. I am a small channel, of course, but I'm kind of very passionate about this game, so might as well do some uh, news before anybody else does. Now, there's only two other updates. Yeah, now you can see it. There's only two other updates um, that I want to say for this video. So this one's going to be very short. Any is there right Now, I know you guys might be thinking, is there going to be any analysis from the video I just talked about like earlier this day, earlier today? Not really. I think I said most of my analysis, my um, thoughts about like the Void VAs being in the game. And yeah, so let's actually get this on, shall we? So I told you guys before that um, the PlayStation, Xbox, and PC versions already have the voice acting in items. Right now, the Switch has the items as well. Uh, let me actually pop my face in because I actually forgot about that. There I am. Okay. So yeah, the Switch now has the voice acting and items very fast, to be honest. And I never thought it would be, we'll see the day here. But yeah, as just a big refresher, we'll go all the way up here. So right now, currently, right now, the Switch has the voice acting. A few hours ago, a few hours by the time of this, you know, news thing pc xbox playstation already has it so all consoles or every single platform has voice acting and items in and let's review who we got for the voice actors hopefully you guys can see all this i don't think you can yeah again it's with powder toast man i'll let you guys read all this and i say thank you to the vas who lend their voice talents to this game because this game honestly really needs it I don't really, like, I'm not exactly, like, that much into, like, having VA's voice acting in the game. But, you know, super appreciated, and it makes the game much more immersive, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of just the big refresher. VA's are in the game, and items are now in the game. I don't know about the items. Are they able to be turned on and off? I don't know. But, yes, finally, the VA's are out here today. Came out much more earlier than I expected. I thought maybe once Hue Neutron comes in, we'll get the VAs, but we got the VAs early. Now I cannot wait to actually play Hue Neutron with his voice. My god. Also, um, just a little side note. I think you guys saw already. Whoops. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, shout out to Deus Moon. But uh, yeah, the voice actor of Hue Neutron himself basically tweeted out so yes the official voice actors are in this game i'm just so glad now one last piece of news and i did tell you guys this is short give me a sec i'm gonna pull it up it's currently on the nintendo eShop, on the switch or on their main website nickelodeon all stars brawl is at a discount in a whopping 60 percent so if you guys did actually pre-order the game, it's still worth basically the 40 bucks. But if you guys were waiting for a discount on the game, since its base price is $50, right now it's $20. And to be honest, now it's definitely worth it. That number is of steel. I would suggest you guys to actually basically take this opportunity to buy the game because right now with the voice acting with the items with everything they just added in from the last few months past in the past year technically speaking ever since the past year and the past few months for um, basically they add in a lot more content a lot more polish to the game and now it's worth twenty dollars this is a major steal and to be honest, I would actually say that this game is basically worth the $40-$50, but right now, it's super worth it. But of course, 
it'll still be worth is it is still going to be worth the forty dollars since because if you're going to buy the three DLC characters in about in the pass in the season pass, no. In the fighter pass, I should say, in the fighter pass, it's still twenty dollars. So technically speaking, you still have to pay forty dollars for DLC and base game. But yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, that's basically all the news. I'm Sunpo, and I'll catch you guys later. And stay tuned for basically more updates to the game, which might be a while. Basically, I'm thinking I might do another like news thing like this once Hugh comes out. But yeah, anyways, I'm just so excited. I'm gonna play this for tonight. I'll see you guys then. Take care.